So are you looking into buying a drone, only have $1,000 and have no idea what to buy? Well, lucky for you, I've got the perfect drone for you. Meet the Air 2S. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Dylan Gorman. I've been a commercial pilot for over nine years and have touched just about every single drone over the last nine years. And I don't think there's anything that even comes close to the Air 2S for its price point. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So just a quick little overview about this drone. DJI released this drone a little over a year ago, back in April 15th of 2021. On it comes a Hasselblad one inch sensor capable of capturing 20 megapixel photos and up to 5.4K video. Alongside with all those cool camera specs, its flight time is up to 34 minutes, which I have personally seen pretty damn close to that 34 minute. And its obstacle avoidance system is phenomenal. And its transmission is great. OcuSync 3 is their latest iteration side of OcuSync 3 Plus, which is featured in the new Mavic 3 that released the end of last year. When DJI first launched this drone, they launched it for $999, but that was just the base drone. The reason why I still say that this is the best drone for under $1,000 is, well, now you can get the Fly More bundle for $999, basically everything you need. With three batteries, ND filters, extra props, a nice carry in case you can't beat that and to shoot 5.4k video I mean as a background in videography and photography to get that kind of quality years ago or even now you're gonna have to pay tens of thousands of dollars to match that kind of quality in something that can fly up in the air for instance I have the Inspire 2 when that drone first came out it was capable of shooting up to 6k quality video of course that's with the X7 camera but I have the X5s so I could still shoot up to 5k video in that but a whole package together to get the ProRes license and all the other things that you need for that drone to perform in the best possible way, you would have to spend over $12,000 to get that kind of quality, where a thousand bucks gets you five and a half K in a sensor like this. And I mean, man, guys, it is an incredible sensor. I've been in Costa Rica for the last two weeks and I've just been capturing all kinds of photography, cinematography, and featuring it here on my Instagram here if you wanna go check out some of the stuff that I've been doing. This drone has just come in clutch and I actually prefer it over some of the other drones that I have, such as the Mavic 2 Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro, even my Mini 2, which again, I know the Mini 2 is a cheaper drone, but you know, for the package and the size of this drone and what it's packing, literally the deal of the century. So you're probably wondering about the video performance of this drone and can it really shoot that 5.4K quality that I've just been boasting about? Well, short answer is yes, absolutely. And I've been fortunate to be in Costa Rica for the last two weeks. So all of the video that you're gonna see in this video is from my experience here. We've been up and down the Western coast here in Costa Rica between Jaco and Manuel Antonio, as well as the little parts of San Jose. Just here's some of the quality, and again, I do have a background in cinematography, so I, I do know how to properly capture all this. This is all shot in manual settings. Nothing was shot in auto, except for the master shots, which we will get into in a little bit. What I do find fascinating about this drone for this specific price for under a thousand dollars this is ready to go off the bat you can sell this footage and you can include this in your cinematography or video bundle for whatever you're trying to do for instance i'm capturing this video on a canon eos r5 so i can shoot up to 8k with this video i don't do that i only shoot up to 4k but i can easily match and color grade with this $5,000 setup that I have in front of me alongside with this $1,000 drone. And you'd think I'd be flying and capturing the video with this camera here, but I'm not. I'm using a $1,000 drone to almost match the quality of this camera. You know, a full frame camera versus a one inch sensor. Yeah, this camera is gonna have a whole lot better quality, a whole lot more dynamic range and just better depth. But the dynamic range in this Air 2S is actually fan freaking tastic. You get almost 10 bit color and almost 12 and a half stops of dynamic range. Now for the photography performance. As a content creator with a drone, it's not all about video, even though this drone is so good at it. The photography out of this drone is also extremely stellar. Back when DJI released the Mavic Pro 2 with that Hasselblad camera, people were blown away. They were also basically giving that drone away for 
under $1,300 for what you could catch out of it. Now, the Aero 2S is basically a miniature Mavic 2 Pro, but with enhanced image quality and the multiple iterations of the Hasselblad camera that DJI has been able to integrate into a flying platform such as this drone. The 20 megapixels that you're getting out of it is absolutely stunning, and the 12.6 stops of dynamic range is also absolutely phenomenal. I mean, for instance, take a look at this picture that I captured when I was in Manuel Antonio. The color depth of the water and all the detail that you can see in all the shadows and the highlights is incredible. Now mind you, I did shoot that a little bit after sunrise. It was about 7, 7.30 when I captured these images. The light was absolutely beautiful. The sun wasn't beaming down as it would, you know, during the middle of the day. I do have a background in cinematography and photography, so I do know how to maximize the quality of light with my environment. And that's also why I love to have the ND filters, because I can control how much light comes into that sensor, which allows me to really tailor the shot to specifically what I want to get. And like I said, I've been in Costa Rica for the last two weeks, so here are some of my favorite shots that I've captured with this drone. Let's talk about some of the automatic flight modes that this drone comes built in with. With all the sensors that come on this drone comes a lot of safety features as well as a lot of automatic flying features. And as a beginner pilot, a lot of these shots that I have captured throughout this video may seem daunting at first, but I have really good news for you. With a lot of the automated flight features built into this drone, basically allows you to become a pro shooter without being a pro flyer. Let me explain what I mean by that. With modes like follow me and, and tracking for vehicles, people, bikes, whatever you want to, to track, and the ability for it to have its autonomous flight while using the sensors built in for obstacle avoidance, you can basically become a master shooter within seconds of picking up this drone. Now, as much as I do like to capture a lot of my stuff manually, there are features that I do like to utilize within this drone, such as the hyperlapse, which you can't do that manually. Some of the active track features where if I'm trying to walk on the beach or ride a bike, drive a car, it just makes it a little bit easier and takes a lot of the manual movements out of it. On top of that, DJI featured their master shots with this drone. What master shots is basically will allow you to capture a two to three minute long video with several different kinds of shots built into it. Now, unfortunately, you don't get to have manual control over the camera when capturing this, so it's just gonna shoot everything in 4K, which again, as a beginner drone pilot, I think that's more than enough. And you know, if you throw an ND filter on there, it's still gonna look good. But what's really cool about Master Shot, it captures several different kinds of shots throughout and will create an entire highlight video for you that you can then chop up if you want, or you can download it directly out of the DJI Fly app and use that and post it immediately on social media, where it'll have a little bit of music and a little bit of color grade, and it's great for just sharing. On top of that, it also can teach you some new shot types and different creative ways to capture environment whether you're doing a, a master shot of landscape or a master shot of a person. Just take a look, Here, here's one of the examples that I got this weekend. Three, two, one. One of the reasons why I say Master Shots is such a cool feature is, well, my girlfriend also uses this drone. This is actually her drone. Uh, I like to steal it from time to time, but she uses Master Shots all the time. She's not a professional full-time pilot like myself, so, you know, a lot of the movement she's still learning and still getting better at. When she's just trying to capture something really quick for her YouTube videos, which you should check her out. She's a digital nomad. She'll teach you how to work remotely from anywhere in the world. She uses the master shots to accomplish a lot of the cinematography that she's trying to get when she's telling her stories. Coming from my girlfriend who absolutely loves this drone and has added a lot more depth to her video, master shots is definitely the biggest highlight in this drone, especially for under $1,000. I mean, what drone is gonna give you incredible features like this and still maintain a high quality image of basically whatever it captures. There's a lot of other features that I haven't talked about this drone. I think I hammered down on what really matters most as a beginner pilot getting into the drone space. This drone checks so many other boxes that a lot of the other drones can't even compete in this price range with. Again, if you'd like to get the Fly More bundle, check down below for that Amazon link. Again, DJI is still selling it for $1,300. No need to pay an extra $300 for something that you can get for a thousand bucks. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more from me in the future, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Currently, I'm working on trying to put out one video a week, whether it be educational, a review, or just anything that has to do with the drone industry. So please subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one.